Well, if I had to be allowed to say only two things about affirmative action, I'd probably start by saying that it's a great way to set one group of excluded people against another. That everybody then argues about the hierarchies of who's to be included first and how. And then um, the rest can be taken care of by arguing that you appoint the particularly incompetent among the people who need to be supported. So that next time round you can say that affirmative action is always going to be a reduction of standards. And the second thing I'd probably say is it creates the necessity for most people to uh, reduce themselves to or subsume themselves within a larger collective that they must identify with. One is now a person of color of a certain origin, gender, sexual orientation. One becomes one of the boxes to tick in an equal opportunities form so that one can get exactly where one wants to get with that um, box. And that actually creates a lot of difficulties for people who may not belong in any mainstream, but also do not belong automatically in any necessarily identifiable minority, because those minorities have to already exist and be pre-identified before you can actually create a situation where people can use those categories to further their best interests. And in the meantime, while everybody is busy creating the categories which imprison as much as instruct. Um, the way to get back to or return to any kind of universalist um, aspiration is that much more difficult because you have in fact created categories and created vested interests in categories and you have even recreated categories which you claim do not exist at and do not exist or have never had a basis of existence, like um, race, 